Hi, my name is George Garcia and I'm a Fusion 360 Electronics Community Manager. Have you ever found yourself confused with the different terms that can be applied to libraries in the Eagle and Fusion 360 Electronics ecosystem? If you have, then this video is for you. Through this video, we're going to conceptually explain how these libraries are related and how you can best make use of them in your workflow. So to start, we're going to set the scene. And you can think of these as islands. So on the far right, we first have the original, which is Eagle and its local libraries. Now, as time has gone on, we've developed library.io, and now Fusion 360 Electronics can also work with your library data. Now, one thing we want to make clear is that we will be focusing on bilateral or two-way workflows, not import and export. So, for example, you could take your Eagle files and upload them directly into Fusion 360. That would be an example of a one-way workflow. It's almost as if citizens from the island of Eagle were to move permanently to Fusion 360. There's no relationship back to Eagle. Rather, what we want to focus on is two-way, being able to keep a relationship between data. So let's talk about how the, the two islands are kind of split up. Library.io and Fusion 360 focus on working with cloud data, whereas Eagle focuses on your local desktop data. Now, what happens when you make a managed library in Eagle? Well, what you're doing is you're building a bridge in the way of a push-pull manual workflow between Eagle and library.io. You may push changes that you make to your local copy of your managed library to library.io. And likewise, you can manually pull new changes from library.io into your Eagle library. Now, if you notice here, there's no direct interaction between Eagle and Fusion 360. All interaction works through library.io. So when you're working on your 2D PCB in Eagle and you push it to Fusion 360, well, Fusion 360 is populating the 3D models from library.io. Now, it's really important to keep in mind this manual push-pull workflow between Eagle and library.io because we'll be seeing something similar later on. Now, one thing that's very, very important to understand is that library.io and Fusion 360 use completely different infrastructures. The libraries are stored in different places. They have different permission systems. So it's very important to understand that they are completely separate. Now, if you hear the terms library.io library and managed library, these are interchangeable. Managed libraries live on library.io. So both terms are completely interchangeable. So if you hear one or the other, know that they're referring to the same thing as we go through this video. Now, what about linking libraries? Now, it's possible to take a Fusion Team library. Remember how we spoke that that infrastructure is completely separate. So if you're working in Fusion 360, your libraries are created into Fusion Team. And on their own, they have no interaction with library.io. However, you can link a Fusion Team library to a library.io library. And at that point, you're using the same bridge as you did with Eagle and library.io, a manual push and pull workflow. So you can take changes from your Fusion Team library and push them to a linked managed library on library.io. Likewise, in Fusion Team, you can pull changes from the managed library in library.io. Now, a key part to understanding that how these two systems work is realizing that there's different permissions in each system. So when you're working with your team, you may find yourself in a situation where you have to give your Fusion team, those members, you have to give them permission in Fusion team, but then you also have to give them permission to your manage folder in library.io. So whatever permissions you set up in Fusion Team for your different coworkers or for the company, you'll need to do the same thing 
in library.io if there's anybody working with Eagle. If everyone is working with Fusion 360, then you can probably stay in the Fusion Teams library island. Um, but if you ever want to publish those libraries to the outside world, then you'll have to make this manual push-pull workflow, this bridge between Fusion Team libraries and library.io. So what are the things we want you to remember from this video? First, remember that Eagle is working purely with local data. It's working with a local copy of the managed library. Whereas Fusion 360 and library.io work with cloud data. So when you're working with your libraries in Fusion 360, those are all automatically being saved to the cloud. Eagle does not interact with Fusion 360 directly. All interactions are going to involve library.io in some way. From Fusion, linking to a library.io library allows you to use the same bridge or the same push-pull manual cloud syncing that was available in Eagle, except that now you are syncing a Fusion library and a library.io library instead of the case in Eagle, where you're syncing a local copy to the managed library that is on library.io. Now, as we mentioned, and again, we keep reiterating this, it's important to understand that managed libraries use a completely different system than Fusion Team libraries. They use different infrastructure and different permission systems. When moving between the two, you might need to use Fusion or library.io to add your team members and give them the appropriate permissions. If it's in Fusion, then you're adding them to your Fusion team hub. If it's library.io, then you're adding them to your managed folder in library.io. Now, in the description of this video, you'll find links going into more details about how to work with the different islands. But for now, it's important to recognize when working with your team, you need to make sure the permissions are set up correctly on the right island. Finally, Fusion Team Libraries can be linked to library.io libraries. Now this allows a path for libraries created in Fusion 360 to be available to Eagle users. Because at that point, you're just crossing two bridges. You're going from Fusion Team Libraries to Manage I.O. Sorry, to library.io libraries, manage libraries, and then from there, those can be pulled into Eagle. So you're just crossing two bridges at that point. So thank you very much for watching this video. We look forward to covering more of these topics in future videos. Have a great day.